Hi everyone, my name is Thomas Kim. Today is April 3rd, 2019. In this episode, we will install Taxizen. For more information about Taxizen, how to install and download, please double click this link. By reading this document, you can understand how to install Taxizen. I will guide you how to install. We need to download five tools. This is Ghost Script for Windows. Please double click this link to download Ghost Script file. The download begins. Next, double click this link to download HTML help workshop. In this link, click download. You can download all three files, but only one file. This file is required. Click next. We also need to download GraphBits. Please double click this link. GraphBits will be downloaded. Now we need to install MIGTEX for Windows. Please double click this link. This is not required, but this is very good tool for LaTeX editor on Windows. Please double click this link if you want to install TextMaker. Finally, download Taxizen for Windows. Please double click this link. For more information about Taxizen, you can click these links. This is for documentation file for Taxizen. When download is completed, you will have these files on your download folder. We will first start with Ghost Script. Right click, run as administrator. Click yes. Next. I agree. Install. Click finish. Close this file. After installing, we have to set environment variable. Double click this link and this link, this folder, bin, copy this folder path, copy. Right-click, search, environment, click this link, then environment variable, click this link, edit, new, paste, enter, click OK. We successfully installed the cost script. Now we are installing HTML help workshop. In download folder again, double click HTML help. Yes. 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 HTML help workshop will be installed in this folder. Click OK. Click OK. Click OK. We have to set the folder path. HTML help workshop. Copy this folder path. Copy. And edit. New. Paste the folder. Enter. Now we installed HTML help workshop. We need to install GraphBits. In download folder again. Right click. Install. Next. Please remember the folder pass, everyone. Next. Next. Click yes. Close. We also need to set the path. Double click. Double click. Copy the path. And environment variable. Paste. Click OK. Now we need to install MIGTEX. It will take some time to install this MIGTEX. Download again. 
this is make text please make sure right click run as administrator please run it as administrator click yes i accept make text copy condition click next install make text for anyone who use this computer or user click next make text 2.9 will be installed in this folder Please remember the folder path. Click Next. Install missing package on the fly. Yes. Click Next. Start. Please be patient. It will take some time. When Next button is active, click Next button. Check for update now. Click Next. Close. I will close it. Update now. Please wait. Please be patient while you see installing package updates. Until this message is gone, please wait. It says Mitex console needs to be restarted. Click OK. Switch to administrator mode. Task. Refresh file name database. Please refresh file name database after updates. Task. Refresh font map files. Now Mitex installation is done. You can exit now. At this point, please restart your Windows. Restart. After restart, this session continues. After restarting your window, right click Start, Search, Environment. Edit system environment variable. Click environment variable. Click this button, edit. We can find environment variable for mid text is not included. Close OK. Here, edit. We need to add mid text path. Start file explorer. Go to C, program files. Big text 2.9, click big text, bin, x86, copy this folder path, copy, then new, click path, edit, new, paste it here, click OK, click OK. Now we will install one more file. Text maker, this is not compulsory, but it is optional. This is latex editor. Right click, install. I accept the term in the license agreement, install. Yes. Click finish. This is text maker editor, close. Now we are installing Doxygen. Finally, right click, run as administrator. Yes, I accept the agreement. Next, 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 install. Next, finish. Now unzip the Doxygen PDF manual, extract to here, double click it, there is a Doxygen PDF file, right click, copy, C, program files, Doxygen, HTML, or we can just put it here. Paste. Continue. 
Then on your desktop, drag, copy shortcut here. Then you can rename like this. Doxygen 1.8.15 PDF. Now close it. Right click. Sort by name. Click. This is Doxy Wizard. Right click. More. Open file location. You can drag and copy. Copy here. If you want, you can have PDF manual too. Right click. Copy here. We can rename shorter like this. This is Doxygen help file. This is Doxygen PDF help file. And this is Doxygen CHM help file. This is Doxygen wizard. In future sessions, I will describe how to use this Doxygen wizard. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.